Hey guys, Tanner here, finally back from my short Chinese New Year break with another Digimon Rearise video. Today, I plan for a couple of videos which I will start recording from this video on and then start uploading whenever I'm done editing. As you guys know, my editing is gonna take a while, so be patient, guys. Okay, first up, as the title suggests, we are gonna talk about Gaia Mon. Gaiamon has just been released today, so let's head over to his banner and take a look at his skills. I just read Riku's review and in short right now at current meta, he is both S rank in PvE and PvP. However, in the long run, he does fall off really fast in PvP, so let's take a look in Riku's review to find out why. Okay, important notice, right now Gaiamon is incredibly powerful, however, the main reason behind that is his 3 times crit damage, which will be nullified by crit immunity passive. So, I would recommend skipping not going hard for Gaiamon, cause he has nothing else to offer without his crits. So his skills and stats, okay, uh, these are his stats, HP 7788, attack 3469, defense 1532, and speed 22. Okay, his stats looks above average. Okay, his main skill at level 1 is 340% damage to 520% damage at max level. To two enemies in case of crit damage deals 3 times the regular damage. Okay, so most likely if you get the crit damage, the 2 is a goner. Okay, on top of that, it lowers 2 enemies tag resistance by 20% for 2 turns in case they did not die or something. Okay, its sub skills is C charge, C charge, C charge slash at level 1, 260% damage to 2 enemies. Okay, importantly, boosts his own critical hit rate by 40% for 2 turns. Okay, so this is definitely the first skill to use for Gaiomon. 40% extra critical hit rate to kind of secure the main skill. Okay, 3 times regular damage. Okay, and finally, his passive skill makes all purple allies immune to shock, paralysis, freezing, stun, and sleep for 1 turn. So basically, 1 turn CC immunity for the death team. Okay, purple, purple boy. Where are you at? Okay, so he's a purple. He's a purple Digimon. Okay, so explanation is rather simple. Okay, stats are great. His skill set is quite simple, but packs a lot of power behind it. Where his main skill can do three times its normal damage when it crits, which can basically guarantee in a one shot in PvP or high damage in clashes, along with tech resist debuff as well. Okay, so okay, so also in, in clashes. His sub skills helps guarantee his crits with a very good 40% crit chance buff to himself. Okay, so it's it's rather a straightforward Digimon. So high crit rate, high crit damage. Done. So his weakness is definitely gonna be a crit immunity Digimon in the future. Right now we don't have them, so this guy is just OP as of now. Okay, right now Gaimon is as far as them damage ghost stands on top however as far as usability and future proof goes he falls down really fast in pvp gaiamon heavily relies on his crits to do a lot of damage and the game will get some digimon that provide crit immunity which basically makes gaia crits useless but as for now he's an insanely powerful dps digimon ratings clash battle s pvp s and okay let's take a look at the summon rates in the banner okay what's that dentaro Tentaros Mon? Okay, I have never seen that Digimon before actually. Okay, as usual. Oh wait, it's actually 6%. It's not 5%. It's not the regular 5%. I think they, they boosted the manga for this. Okay, so this is a 6% banner with, okay, uh, Gaia Mon and Centaurus Mon at 1.5%. Okay, so the usual is like 1% for banner units and this is like 1.5 so a good chance to get it but knowing myself i'm probably not gonna get it so no hope for that okay the rest of the units are about 0.667 percent so the available units are gaiamon centauros mon high and Dromon, okay very good and then uh, platinum nimi mon bolt mon okay minerva mon meta et mon and rift mon okay so two out of eight i think eight yeah the rest are not that good okay i finally saved 1000 rubies although so I really don't want to, but you know, as a YouTuber of Digimon Rearise, it's my duty to sacrifice this so that I can, you know, hopefully get my Outforce V Dramon. But if I get Gaiamon, you know, I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna rejoice and gonna train him hard, you know, to replace Outforce. So, Rainbow, guys! <laughs> no, no, it's not looking good! Rainbow! Okay, no. I'm getting shafted again. It's like I never learned from the previous video, so no. 
Okay, okay. I'm just gonna relax. It's just one pool, so I'm not gonna skip. Okay, stay with me, guys. You know, the intensity of them reforming is like super low, but... Oh, well... There's a chance I get Gaiomon in this banner, right? Am I right? I, I don't want Centauros Mon. Okay, come on! Reform! Honestly, not looking good. Reform badge! No. Okay, I left three chances. Oh! oh come on! That's rolling, man. No. And the last one! Guys, come on, give me some energy! <laughs> I might get a... <laughs> I might get Gaiomon from here. Oh, wait. There's one more blue. Oh! It revolved! Yes! Oh! What? Did not expect that. Guys, did not expect this. Alright? What? Oh! Praise RNG Jesus. We got it, boys! Reform once again! No O Force, but okay. Well, that was unexpected. A blue reform to Gaiamon. Oh, guys. Oh, wow. What? This is such a good video. I'm gonna edit this right away and then upload it. I think in this kind of overdue. I supposed to do it yesterday, but I'm still kind of tired from all the Chinese New Year stuff. So, oh man, I got it. I'm gonna train this boy up, man. Okay. I have like, I think I have like some good plugins for him. Okay. Tenor is back into the game. So stay tuned. Okay, wait. Uh, let's go back. Okay, so I have Gaiomon. Okay, so I will do this in the next video. All right. So we have uh, some limited uh, plugins. Uh, that actually looks decent. It there's like ex extra stats, right? Oh, and it's ten percent to get these rainbow plugins. Okay, that's not too bad. And we're gonna skip this. Uh, so this is actually not too bad. I think they are actually pretty worth it to pull on this. Yeah, like, uh, you know, they give you extra stats. And then this give you extra speed. I think they're good to pull. Okay, like, example, this, these are the same stuff, you know. Okay, power. Give you attack. And then this give you speed, right? So these are the rainbow equivalents. So I, I think this is actually a good banner to pull if you have, like, some spare rubies. I obviously don't. I have, like, 800 rubies. For this bad boy here, I, I just want him, you know. Okay, and not him. I got four of this. Can you guys believe it? Okay, so anyway, uh, there's a couple of new events right now. Okay, next up we have the Clash Battle Gaiomon with along with uh this uh, Valentine's so basically a Valentine's Day uh event coverage. I'm probably gonna touch on that in the next video as well. Okay, so just a brief explanation. Okay, you get some eggs, you get some good stuff, you know, DG eggs. Okay. Get some uh, Vitramon, okay, skill stone, okay, Vitramon, okay, you can get him. I'm not sure how good it is. So I'm gonna exp explore that in the next video. So, Valentine's Day event is here, okay, so there's like challengers and things like that. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go too deep into that. I'm uh, just gonna leave it for the next video, okay, so there's this, okay, so these are the stuff, okay, and then. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Digimon Rearise video. Think I'm gonna make do a couple more Digimon Rearise video. And then like this video and comment right down below if you actually tried for Gaiamon and how many tries did you actually do to get him. I hope they're not as bad as my All Force Vitra video. Yeah, that really hurts. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.